Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Um, today I thought I'd bring you um, a card from Pop of Petals. Um, it's a lovely new set that's in the new catalogue and it has um, taken the place of an, an old set that we had, which was a flower, I think it was called Flower Shop with a, a matching punch. So I love this set because it's got these lovely flowers. Also, you can create a butterfly out of this flower and some extras leaves and things which is a really lovely addition i love that we have a punch with it uh, today i wanted to do like a blue inspired card i'm really inspired at the moment by the kind of japanese blue and white um i might use some of the um uh coastal cabana in it just to give it another tone of blue but I'm really loving the kind of blue and white um like my mum used to have this old china set um dinner plates which was the the beautiful blue and white um style so what I, I'm going to use blueberry bushel and I've got my a standard card base I've got a piece of blueberry bushel which is cut um to give a small border and then I've literally layered another piece of whisper white which is literally I think uh, three millimeters in all the way around so you have a play with the sizes that you want and I've got some uh, whisper white to stamp on to so we're going to we're definitely using the blueberry bushel and we're going to need an aqua painter so I think that's really all and the the genuine general things that we normally need so glue and stuff so so I'm going to choose this flower here I think and we're gonna stamp out a couple before we create our background so I use two flowers or two stamps to make my complete flower so let's make sure I stamp it in the right direction as the stamp because I don't I've done it once already where I how's that way messed it up a little bit um, if um, if you don't have a stamping mat and you've got like this the uh, block uh, caddy I've just I just use the um, mats out of that which I actually just keep one in my little crafting bag so if I go around a French crafting, which does happen quite frequently, um, I've got something to stamp onto. Um, it's, I found it really handy. So I'm gonna stamp out six, like so. So that's those bits done and ready. So what I'm gonna to do to color them in is I'm gonna use my aqua painter and I'm gonna squidge a little bit of into the top part of the palette. Um, get a bit of water going, make it a little bit, I don't want it too dark, so I might dab some of that off. And then I had some tissue.
So now I've done those, if you want it to, to bit, bring in a bit more colour just for certain parts, you can now come in and just add some definition if you wanted to. You don't have to, it's entirely up to you. I'm only going to do it on um, three of them. And I'm literally just highlighting one edge. Okay, so now we've done these, I'm just going to pop those off to one side for the moment. Um, they can dry off. And I'm going to bring my piece of base um, in. Um, I'm going to use the blueberry bushel again. And I'm going to use a stamp from Touch of Textures. Actually, I'm going to use two stamps. So, um, I've just ordered, so it's not quite come yet, there's um, an Artisan Textures stamp set, which is going to be, I can't wait to get it. And it kind of takes over from, we used to have one called Gorgeous Gunge, um, which is similar, but not quite the same. Um, and that um, was brilliant for doing backgrounds, so I'm looking forward to getting that. But I'm going to use this for now, because um, I've got it. Um, so I'm going to use these two stamps. Um, to create some texture in the background. Um, so, um, I've tried out some colours um, that I think might work and i come to the conclusion that I would have really liked to have used one of these two lighter blues, so the Pool Party or the Bramley Blue, which is, they're, they're the kind of colours that I would have liked, or even Soft Sea Foam, but I don't have that at the moment because uh, I'm slowly going through replacing all my old ink pads um, with new. But I do have um, a retired colour called Marina Mist. So I'm going to use that instead, but use what you have. I just wanted a slightly lighter blue. So, let's double check Happy, yeah. So I'm just going to come in with this lighter colour and I'm going from the corner there, and then I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to do this opposite corner as well. Okay, yeah, I really like that. It's, it's really nice. So I'm just going to come in here and get some in there. And this is literally just to create a bit of texture in the background. So for my darker, which is these speckly bits, which is a bit like paint splatter. I'm going to use the darker colour. Which is the, uh, what's it called again? The berry bushel. I always say the name's wrong. <laughs> Nightmare I am. And I'm just going to splat there and then splat there. Oh, I've kind of smudged it, but oh, that's cool. I'm liking that. So I've got a bit of a spludge, spludgy splash. Now I'm going to bring the flowers back in. Now with my flowers, I want to get a bit of shape to them. So with my bone folder, or even if you've got some kind of ball tool, I've got a couple of different ones. Come in the back and work your ball tool into it to kind of just create a bit of texture to your flower. And then, so I'm going to do the same for all of these. Well, I think I am. So that's how, if I was using the ball tool. If you don't have a ball tool and you're using your bone folder, I hold the centre of the flower and like like when you're curling ribbon on scissors, I'm using my bone folder as the scissor part and curling it around 
I think I actually preferred this way. And then I just kind of give them a bit of a bend up to, to give them that curl. Right, so now I've given these all a little bit of shape, I am going to attach them together. I did get out, oh, there it is. So, um, I've mentioned before I'm trying lots of different um, glue pen or tape pen dispensers. Um, I've not found one I particularly like at the moment. I've got these ones from Create and Craft. I think it was like you get six for a ten or something, but I got them on a really good deal where they had like twelve for a tenner. You got double the amount, so I'm giving those a go. They seem to be okay, actually. Um, I, I'm I'm quite happy with the way they're performing. They're not quite as good as my old fast views, but um, they are okay. So now I've just popped a little bit of tape on the back of there. You could use glue or you could use tape, whatever you feel is strongest for you. Get the ball in there. I'm going to pop a dimensional on the back of each of them. And I'm just going to have a play where I think they should go. Mm -hmm. See one going up, one going down, maybe. Just those corners. So what's really nice is you can like really manipulate the card. This is just the normal Whisper White. Um, so it's still really good for a bit of manipulation. I know some cards would, card stock doesn't quite live up to the same Brutility. <laughs> now I need to get a sentiment in here and I was thinking from one of my happy birthday ones stamp sets because this particular stamp set um, doesn't come with any sentiments so I'm just going to use the happiest of birthdays from the picture perfect birthday stamp set I'm just going to stamp it out in here because I'm not sure if I'm going to do it straight onto the card yet or if I'm going to punch it out somehow. I think I might do it in night and navy so it's a little bit darker. That's what I need to do. If I hadn't had all these speckles down here I could have probably got away with it. So I'm going to try and keep it to this corner. Yeah, there we go. So I've still got the blue. So now I'm happy with this part. I'm going to attach it to my card. Okay. 
Um, now, I'm going to bring flower here. I was going to bring some silver um, cordon, but I don't seem to have any. I thought I did. Oh well. That's fine. This works fine. Now what you can do is either put some gems, or you can either bring in some of the, the pearls or these flat gems. I think I'm going to put think medium size. Yeah. There we go. Um, the pearls will work just as well. Um, I just think I prefer slightly bigger pearl. So here we go, uh, using our blueberry bushel and um, a couple of other blues in there, but the minimal actual amount of supplies I need to do this card, which is nice. Um, so I really like the way this has come out. I think I'm gonna do some more cards with this kind these tones of blues um, and maybe with the same stamp set to have a play with so i hope you've enjoyed doing this card for me today leave me some comments and subscribe to my channel and i'll speak to you all again soon thanks very much bye now so this has been kelly from crafty kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk